channel. So today this video is going to be a full day of eating and today is actually going to be a rundown on what my body composition is kind of looking like. So I haven't done a body composition test in over a year, I think. And so I'm not sure at all where my numbers are in terms of my skeletal muscle mass, my body fat percentage, how much water I'm holding in my body, like all of that good stuff. I just know the generics of like my measurements of my waist and my weight on the scale. But other than that, I haven't really taken a full on look into what's really going on in my body. So in this video, I'm going to be going over to a place called Body Mass Gym here in Arlington, Virginia. And my friend Virginia, actually my friend Virginia, <laughs> she owns that gym. And so today I'm going to be going through a DEXA scan. And that is pretty much going to take a scan over my body and then pull all of that information. So it's going to be really interesting for me to kind of see where I'm at right now in my off season. I'm trying to aim for a show in, I think the end of June. Um, but like I said, I'll talk more about that later, but really crazy to think about. So it's just something that I need to start thinking about now um, in further detail before I make any official competition plans. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to stick around for future videos and see you in the next clip. Uh, let's go see Virginia. Okay guys, so this is Virginia and she is the wonderful owner here at Body Mass Gym and she's going to be talking about what I'm going to be doing here today. So we have Jojo in at Body Mass today to do her advanced exercise physiology testing. So the first thing she's doing is a resting metabolic rate test. And you'll watch her kind of go through the process of doing the RMR and I'll explain exactly how it works and what it's measuring. But basically we're trying to find what her resting metabolism is. Basically, how many calories does JoJo burn at rest? And that's individual to each person. So you can kind of get a baseline of where your caloric intake should be based on your goals. And then next, we're gonna have her do the DEXA scan, which is what I'm sitting on right now. Uh, the DEXA scan is a machine that's gonna give her a full detailed assessment of her body composition. So it will explain exactly how much muscle she has, how much fat she has. We'll go over things like bone density. We'll go over muscular balances and imbalances on the right and left side of her body. And we'll really see how her body fat distribution is throughout her entire body. So we are going to get Jojo doing her resting metabolism. So what she's basically going to be doing is breathing into a tube for 10 minutes. And the breath is going to go obviously from her mouth into the machine. And what we're measuring is your respiratory exchange. So basically with each breath, how much oxygen do you consume? How much CO2 you output? And then based off of an average over the course of 10 minutes, it's multiplied over a 24 hour period to give your metabolism throughout the entire day. All right, so this piece right here is very fashionable, your nose clip, to make sure no air goes out your nose. So go ahead and put that on your nose. All right, and so this tube you're gonna be breathing in. So I want you to almost think like it's a snorkel. You wanna put your lips, just create a good seal around there and just breathe normally. So you're just gonna kind of sit there nice and relaxed for 10 minutes and I'll just kind of keep an eye on it, making sure it's calculating properly. Good, good. So 10 minutes from here, feel all right? All right, so here Jojo is doing her resting metabolic rate. So you can see she's got this tube that literally goes from her mouth into the machine. So as she's breathing, we've clipped off her nose basically to make sure that she's not getting any external air, that the air that she is breathing out is only measured from the tube. The air that she's breathing in is only measured from the tube. As the test goes on, it's gonna take a total of 10 minutes. And that top line up there where it says REE, -E, that says kilocalories per day, that's gonna start to formulate over the course of this 10 minutes to kind of give us what her resting metabolism is. So we'll be back at the end of the 10 minute test to see where her metabolism is. So we're gonna do Jojo's DEXA now. So what I'm gonna have you do, Jojo, is lay down on your back here. Try to be as close to the center line as possible and I'll just kinda help make sure you're in a good spot. And then take your arms straight down by your side here. What's gonna happen, this top piece is gonna take about six minutes to move from your head down to your toes. So you're just gonna kind of sit still and relax. So as you can see, she's just laying down nice and still on the table and this top arm is slowly moving from her head down to her toes. 
And what's happening is as that top arm is moving from her head down to her toes, there's a low dosage x-ray in the bottom of the table underneath her, and there's a sensor in the top portion. And what's happening is a signal is getting sent from that x-ray to the sensor in the top, and it's determining a couple different things. One, what type of tissue it's passing through. So based off the speed at which the signal gets sent to the sensor, it can determine whether it's bone, muscle, or fat. It's determining how much there is as it goes from her head to her toes. So JoJo's getting to the point now where the scan is just about done. You can see on the computer that skeletal image on the left-hand side that was uh, getting generated as she was scanning. And then on the right, you can see this is her soft tissue. So the areas that are darker are gonna be areas that are more dense. So areas that tend to have more muscle and bone. Areas that are a little lighter are areas that are less dense, so they have less tissue. Um, but a good view of this is if you kind of look at her legs here, there's that thin layer of white on the outside, and that's subcutaneous fat. So that's what we're looking at, as well as what we call visceral fat. And visceral fat is any kind of lighter colors that are marbleized in with the dark. You can kind of see that there. On the first page here, what we're looking at with this graph is tracking your body fat percentage. So if you look at this chart relative to your age on this x-axis here, you can see this black line is the exact norm. So body fat tends to go up with age, and then around age 70 starts to drop off. Jojo, your body fat right here marks about a half a standard deviation below norm. Okay. So your body fat specifically is 26.5%, 115.2 pounds, and that 115.2 is broken into 29.4 pounds of fat, 81.3 pounds of lean mass, and 4.5 pounds of bone. Next page, a little bit more detail. So again, we see a very similar graph here, tracking body fat percentage. Down here, we're gonna go through a little bit more detail. So some of this info is info that we saw on the other page. Your body fat percentage, total body weight, and then pounds of fat, pounds of lean, pounds of bone. If we look over here at tissue, tissue is basically taking your bone out of the equation mm. or is looking at your fat plus your lean. Mm -hmm. Basically, these are the variables you have the ability to change. This number, we don't really care if it goes up and down as long as these trend in the right direction. Mm -hmm. So this number could be exactly the same and you could gain five pounds of fat and lose five pounds of muscle, which is not a good change, mm -hmm. or you could lose five pounds of fat and gain five pounds of muscle. Mm -hmm. Either way, this number still is the same. We just wanna make sure these trend to the right direction. Mm -hmm. So we are gonna get down here and look in various parts of your body. The first being the android. So the android is your belly region and that comes from the top of your pelvis to the narrowest part of your waist. So your belly region is 21.8% fat. And then down here we have what we call your gynoid, which is your hips and butt. Yep. So what we're looking at is a waist to hip ratio or like an apple to pear shape. And what we're trying to see is from a health standpoint, do you have less fat in your belly, less of that risky visceral fat, then you do the subcutaneous, the, the fat that's less risky. Right. Then you have less fat in your belly than your hips and butt, mm -hmm. which at a 0.76, you're in a really good spot. Mm -hmm. Now we can start to see how these numbers specifically change as you make changes to your training and changes to your nutrition. You mm -hmm. can really see how that's reflected in your body. Mm -hmm. So this last page here, we are breaking your body into various parts. And the main columns we're looking at here is the pounds of fat, and pounds of lean mass. Mm -hmm. So how is this 29.4 pounds of fat distributed throughout yep. your body? Mm -hmm. So what's really neat is we can start to see over time is your body dropping fat from where you wanna drop fat based on your goals. Mm -hmm. So we can start to see if you come in next time and you've lost five pounds of fat, did you lose it from the areas you want to lose it mm -hmm. based on your goals? Same is true for the muscle mass. And then the last page on your DEXA, is info on bone density. In this blue range, relative to your age, is considered normal. So you can see around age 45, 50, bone density for women starts to drop off. So a, a score of a negative 1.0 would be the bottom end of norm. A positive 1.0 is the top end of norm. You're slightly above that 
with a Z-score of a 1.1. Mm -hmm. So you have 8% better bone density than women your age, wow. which is great. That's so cool. it's really important, especially with age, to make sure that bone density is staying in a good spot. Looking at your metabolism, what we're looking at is your resting energy expenditure. Basically, how many calories does your body burn at rest if you were to do absolutely nothing? Look at that. So your body would burn 1858 in a 24 hour period if you were to sit on your butt on the couch all day long doing absolutely nothing. Lifestyle and activities, this is kind of getting up, taking a shower, making food, going mm -hmm. to work, kind of day to day stuff. Your body, somebody with your metabolism, is gonna burn an extra 555 calories. Then in addition, we wanna take into consideration exercise. Mm -hmm. The number we use as a variable for exercise is based off of 30 minutes of moderate exercise. But you want to think somebody with your metabolism, if you were to do 30 minutes of moderate exercise, would burn about close to 200 calories, just under 200 calories. Jojo, if you were to do exercise 30 minutes in moderate intensity, plus your resting energy expenditure and lifestyle and activities, you would burn just over 2,600 calories a day. So if you're looking for weight loss or what we would want to consider fat loss, right? We don't want to lose mm -hmm. muscle. Mm -hmm. You should be eating roughly 1,500 to close to 1,850 calories just for fat loss. Okay. If your goal is maintenance or what we call recomposition, basically decreasing fat and increasing muscle, you'd want to eat at that resting energy expenditure to about 15% above that. Okay. So about 1850 to 2400 calories. So again, if your goal is to put on more muscle, this is the zone you want to be in. Mm -hmm. If your goal is to strictly focus on fat loss, mm -hmm. you want to be on this zone. Down here, this is what's really fascinating, is how does your metabolism compare? Jeez. So this is the spectrum here. If you look at JoJo's X, it's way at the top end. At JoJo that. has 41% faster metabolism than most women her age, her height, her weight. Wow. So this is important. If you were to follow some type of online equation mm -hmm. for women your age, your height, your weight, you would be significantly under eating and you'd really be at risk of not just losing muscle but the inability to add muscle. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Heard it here first. Cool. Okay, so I'm now back home and you all saw the results. Clearly my metabolism has come a long way since I first started my fitness journey, which is really, really wild. I was in shock when I saw that number. Basically what that meant in conclusion is that if I were to sit around and do absolutely nothing all day, I would be burning 1,858 calories at rest. Never did I think I was going to do something like that. So I'm here to now eat this. Muffin. It tastes really good. It's like a sweet, savory mix. Three egg whites, two slices of turkey bacon, and after I have that, I'm going to have two packets of this brown sugar. It's like 100 calories each, with about a scoop of this kind of protein. And then for a pre workout snack after I digest that a little bit, I'm going to have this Rice Krispie pumpkin pie. So, time to eat. Instagram as well, like an Instagram TV, but then I'll also do like a all the grocery haul for here for YouTube. So think about doing that. Now we're fueling up with pizza because I can have the calories. And um, I received a response to my check-in from my coach, and he says to bump up my total daily calories or carbs by 10 grams. Here's the thing: if you get Domino's, get chicken and roasted red peppers. That is one of the best combos that I have discovered. I, I got hit up a few times today and I was saying, oh yeah, I'm doing this and this and this. And 
reality. Just gotta keep up. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna head home now. We're gonna eat this wonderful pizza and then I'll check in with you guys later.